Hi everybody, today is November 22nd, 2013. I found an interesting article about John F. K. versus the Federal Reserve on June 4th, 1963, the same year that Kennedy was assassinated. A virtually unknown presidential decree was signed with the authority to basically strip the Federal Reserve Bank of its power to loan money to the United States government with interest. With the stroke of a pen, President Kennedy declared that the privately owned Federal Reserve Bank would soon be out of business. The Christian Law Fellowship has extensively researched this matter through the Federal Register and Library of Congress. We can now safely conclude that this executive order has never been repealed, amended, or superseded by any subsequent executive order. In simple terms, it is still valid. Well, if they got rid of it, I think it would raise a lot of questions. It would bring it to the public's attention. When then John F. Kennedy signed this order, it returned to the federal government, specifically the Treasury Department, the constitutional power it created and issue currency money without going through the privately owned Federal Reserve Bank. President Kennedy's Executive Order 11110 gave the Treasury Department the explicit authority to issue silver certificates against any silver bullion, silver, or standard silver dollar in the Treasury. This means that for every ounce of silver in the U.S. Treasury vault, the government could introduce new money into circulation based on the silver bullion physically held there. As a result, more than $4 billion in U.S. dollar notes were brought into circulation in 2 and $5 dollar denominations. 10 and 20 United States notes were never circulated, but were being printed by the Treasury Department when Kennedy was assassinated. It appears obvious that President Kennedy knew the Federal Reserve notes being used as the purported legal currency were contrary to the Constitution of the United States of America. No, there was much more to it. It goes into the World Bank, One World System, etc. All the stuff that is happening now. The United States notes were issued as an interest-free and debt-free currency backed by U.S. reserves in the U.S. Treasury. We compared a Federal Reserve note issued from the private central bank of the United States, the Federal Reserve Bank, a.k.a. Federal Reserve System, with the United States notes from the U.S. Treasury issued by President Kennedy Executive Order. They look almost alike except one says Federal Reserve note on the top while the other says United States note. Also, the Federal Reserve note has a green seal and a serial number, while the United States note has a red seal and serial number. It goes on to say that Kennedy knew that if the silver-backed United States notes were widely circulated, they would have eliminated the demand for Federal Reserve notes. This executive order should have prevented the national debt from reaching its current level. And at the time of the writing, it was $9 trillion in federal debt, which was created since 1963. If LBJ or any subsequent president were to enforce it, it would have almost immediately given the U.S. government the ability to repay its debt without going to the private Federal Reserve Bank and being charged interest to create new money. Just five months after Kennedy was assassinated, no more series 1958 silver certificates were issued either, and they were subsequently removed from circulation. Perhaps the assassination of Kennedy was a warning to all future presidents not to interfere with the private Federal Reserve control over the creation of money. It seems very apparent that President Kennedy challenged the powers that existed behind U.S. and world finance. I'll give you a link if you want to read more. It kind of makes you go, whoa. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.